Hundreds turned out for the blessing of the new Ka'u coffee mill in Pahala on Saturday, a huge step forward for an agricultural community revitalizing itself through the caffeinated crop. It was a who's who in Ka'u, farmers, politicians, businessmen, and entertainers, but it all wouldn't be possible without the investment of the Edmund C. Olson Trust. Olson's right-hand man, John Cross, said the project was done for the local coffee farmers. Well, it means we have an alternate area to take our coffee cherry and our coffee uh, parchment. They don't have to drive their product all the way to Kona or all the way to Hilo to get processed. They can uh, just bring it right here and save the gas and the fuel and, and uh, come on down and we'll, we'll buy it. And we pay in seven days. Seven day payables is what we, we uh, want to do. The mill features a new gift shop where visitors can buy Ka'u Coffee Mill coffee, as well as coffee grown by the region's award-winning individual farmers, including Bull and Jamie Kailiava. Visitors will also be able to watch the process of bean to beverage. Well, we have two roasters in here and we've been training our roastery staff. Um, we have a 25-pound Dietrich drum roaster. We have a 25-pound uh, air roaster. Uh, we're going to be acquiring a 50-pound roaster real soon here because we're getting more demands for uh, roasted coffee where the farmers bring in their dry product and we actually roast it for them. And there's no other roastery in this district. And enjoy locally created art, such as this massive mural by artist Kathleen Cam. And to be part of this um, journey has been a delight, a privilege, and I'm so honored um, to have been hired for this project. Mr. Olson, thank you so much. The finished facility left local leaders at a loss for words. But as you look at this whole facility, it does really kind of leave you speechless. I've been, I've been following this project from the beginning. And I'd, I'd come up here and I'd drive around just to see what he was doing. I kept scratching my head, you know, how's he going to do this? And look what's happened to me. <laughs> this is incredible. I, I've watched him, I've watched Miss Olden take abandoned sugarcane land, develop as an agricultural alternative project, put coffee, macnut, put farmers on the land, use the natural resources, the water, to provide for green power. You know, it's an, it, it is an incredible project, uh, and it is, uh, and the community owes, owes a lot to the Ed Olson Trust. After all the talking and performances, including this hula by Miss Ka'u Coffee Brandy Shibuya with the music of Keoki Kahomoku, the Mailile was untied, and the facility was blessed. And finally, the community gave a standing ovation for Olson in appreciation for what will certainly stand out as a highlight in the legacy of land conservation for the rural Ka'u district. Uh, the, the, the word legacy is the right thing you use here. Um, Mr. Olson's goal is to preserve the land, to keep it in agriculture. Long after he has left this earth, he wants the land to stay in ag for at least 35 years after his passing. And it's to, to um it's to preserve itself, it's to make better. His goal is to make the land better than it was in his ownership. Hey, 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 hey.